All right, guys, welcome back to another episode of Three Comic Money. Uh, once again, we got the great AJ here with us again. Uh, hopefully you enjoyed call his last episode that he did with us uh, back then. And uh, we're going to be covering some cool new stuff. Uh, we got a lot of stuff coming up in the pipes. Hopefully you'll get to check out some of that. Um, as always, you got P Peter and Mike and myself. And uh, uh, we're going to play the game that you've been seeing us play where we randomly choose uh, a card to identify who gets to go first and what the category is. So, AJ, you're the guest. The guest always picks. It's got to be one. Doing one again. All right. It's got to be one. All right. Well, I'm going to do three again. And I'll do two again. Yes, you will. All right. <laughs> the answer it is. is it's and one. One. AJ. Ah, the classic <laughs> lead, off. lead off. Nice. That lead off for our that is a great. That is a great, great. Oh, oh, nice. <laughs> is that the Walking Dead font, too? It is the Walking Dead. I'm trying to figure out what font to use for walking. Like, I guess I got to use Walking <laughs> Dead, right? <laughs> yeah. Awesome. All right. All right. AJ, take us away. Let's see what you got. All right. Okay. Um, that full screen. There we go. I guess I'll save that one. I got Deadpool 43. <laughs> oh, yeah. I, I saw off. that. I thought about it. Yeah, uh, as a, as a '90s kid, Omega Red was the man. Deadpool was awesome, and uh, Deadpool throwing a match into gasoline with Omega Red stuck in the tanker. Yeah. <laughs> I dig it. Cool guys don't look at explosions. Exactly. <laughs> cool guys don't look at explosions. That was actually a really good run on Deadpool. <laughs> All, All right, right, Mike, yeah. you got next. All right. Yeah. Uh, yeah. There's a possibility somebody else chose this, but I had to go with it anyway. It's the first thing that I thought of when I thought about walking, dejected, head down. Uh, I was trying to go buy that. It. Could not buy it. Spidey <laughs> 50. Classic cover, obviously. Decent copy. Super excited to own it. And uh, it's just, just the first thing that came to mind. Other than Walking Dead, it's the first thing that came to mind when I thought walking. So, so wait, why, why is that important? Why is that why important? Is, what, the book. You tell me. <laughs> you're oh, the on, Spidey guy. Yeah, you, but you're the you're the Daredevil guy. Why is it important? Yeah, so it's the first appearance of Kingpin. Yeah, that's, that's why it's got out of reach a little bit lately. Yeah, that's yeah. why. That's why I. That's why I wanted it. I'm a Daredevil guy. I'm not. I'm not not a Spidey guy. I just don't collect Spidey just because it's kind of out of my range for the most part. But I needed this because because uh, of Kingpin. So Kingpin's a great villain. So uh, this is a beautiful and this is a beautiful yeah. cover. Um, so it's it's sort of a, a double win for me. Again, I would have picked it if I had it, but I don't. So I do need it for my filing cabinet back here because top shelf is ASM, bottom shelf is X Men. That's what uh, I need. That one, and then fifteen and below. <laughs> for my first pick, I went with a recent, well, semi reason, I guess, dollar bin find, which is Master oh, One Twenty Five, final issue, One Twenty Five. It's nice. kind of, uh, I guess, homaging, I guess, a little bit, throwing the uniform down a little bit, walking away, head dejected. But, yeah, I I'm a big Shang-Chi fan. I'm looking forward to this movie. I think it's going to be good. I mean, I could be wrong, but I love this book. That's a great cover. I, I didn't even think about that one. That's a great cover. All right, I'm going with uh, a little bit pricey, but uh, I, got, I got two copies of it. They gambit there the is it first or is it the second or whatever but uh have to I, the part of the reason i want to show the two you got the the printer's error the, where they cut through the top uh but just a great classic cover um i think this will still even though was it the annual 14 is technically his first uh yeah. because this is the first cover and it's just, just a classic cover and people don't respect annuals i mean I, I can't think of maybe there are like three annuals that people care about. And that's one of them being uh, Annalis. And yeah, then that's just because it's a great cover. 
Yeah, yeah, the effort, and then Rogue, I guess, in Avengers. Yeah, which, I, that's such an ugly cover. I'd rather go with the what is it? It was it X Men seventy one one seventy one seventy seventy one seventy one. Yeah. She's running and punching one seventy. Is that one seventy? Is it one seventy one? Maybe you're right. One seventy one too. I could be. Maybe it's one. You're right. I think it's one seventy one. I can look in the file I cabinet if you want. <laughs> <laughs> it's a white cover. That's all I remember. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know. That's, yeah, I think you're you're stretching our walking a bit. He's crouching in a tree. <laughs> and he's 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 having to be helped walk. I mean, he's that's more of a George McFly. He's a peeping Tom. <laughs> in the tree. Okay, wait a minute. Okay, like, <laughs> he's he's crouching, peeping Tom. Bigger cage for the fans. <laughs> See, I was going with he's helping being so helping support right. Storm. Maybe he's I got you. That's, that's that's true. He, he is helping her so. Maybe, maybe he's the peeping Tom going after her. <laughs> Honestly, that was the toughest thing when when walking was the category, like to not find a running cover. Like everybody's oh, running, oh, everybody's I know. standing in action. Everyone's so, running or just standing there, like, yeah. leaping or just posing, like just walking wasn't easy. <laughs> All right, um, All right, you're up next, AJ. Well, I guess there is a reason that Mike Morell and I share a bromance in the comments section of CBSI. <laughs> Because, <laughs> oh, yeah, it's uh, probably a top ten favorite cover of mine. You know, for me to see here, there's nothing I can say about this book that hasn't been said before. It's absolutely stunning. It's as iconic as it gets. There you have it. Yeah, cancels them out. Well but, played, sir. Well played. Sorry, if I had it, I would play it. Yeah, too. I mean, if if we had it, there would have been four people that pulled that book. <laughs> sort of like the Lash episode. <laughs> yeah. All right. Uh, I went a little different. Uh, hopefully no one chose this one, uh, but I went with another key. Uh, we got uh-huh. first appearance of Jonah Hex, all-star Western, uh, walking into the, walking in through the doors into the, I guess, into the bar. I don't really know. Uh, the saloon as it were. <laughs> uh, just, just a, just a, it's gotten classic. It's pretty hard to get this book. Actually. I've only really seen it a couple of times. This is a fairly nice copy. Um, it just it just had a different feel than all the other walking covers that I was looking at. So kind of cool and different. I like it. Yeah. I like it. That's, That's a book I've definitely kept on my radar, trying to track it down. Yeah, it's number ten, by the way. Yeah. All right. So I'm up next. Yes, sir. Uh, yeah. I I really did want to go with the the X Men. Yeah, Cyclops, yeah. but. Chris made a joke about it, and I was like, well, I can't pick it now. So, you might pick it. <laughs> so I had to go pivot and go a different way. So this is a, a little odd choice, but I do like Adam Hughes, so I decided to go with this Catwoman 50. Oh, nice. Walking out of Shuby, passing the Zatanna billboard poster, just because it's just a really cool image. This one's still That's- not that bad. It's not one of the more the pricier ones of the run. Yeah. I mean, next issue, you get the uh, you know that uh, mugshot, issue 51, but... Uh, issue 50 here. I, I just dig it. She's walking down the street, she's rocking her trench coat. I thought it fit. And, and that Hughes and Tanner runs just ridiculous. I think well, it came right. out at the same time. Peter, wait till you see uh, if you if you remember my cover tunes from a, from a couple of weeks ago. Uh, you will uh, you'll, you'll know we have brain sync. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So I'm going with uh, the, one of the books that we also wonder why the hell did it pop as much as it did? Uh, Thanos 13. Uh, this is if, if you guys know, it's the cosmic ghost rider's first appearance. Uh, character that we kept thinking is not going to last, but it, <laughs> but people lo- love the character. He's irrelevant, he's just sort of fun. It's uh, people like the character, but it's also Don- Donny Cates. I mean, that he has mastered the ability to send out a tweet that sends comic book people to stores to dig through dollar bins to make 10 bucks. He is. <laughs> It doesn't take a what every little thing he posts is like, oh man, is it, this is the next hot book. And this, oh yeah, 13 is the one that sort of started it all. Like, I mean, I remember no one bought that book when it first came out. I bought it on a whim of I wanted the Marvel value stamp. But this is the first issue when they started doing those the new value stamps inside of them. So I bought it because I like this value stamp. I went through them all. I was like, I like this one. So I bought this issue. No, no reason. I didn't hadn't read it until all of a sudden everyone wanted the issue. I will say, you know, um, I, I love that Donny Cates brought back spec from a writing perspective instead of yeah. just about covers. It was really awesome to see. Um, for anyone who cares, I interviewed him uh, it's almost two years ago now. Again, <laughs> I that interview. such a nice guy. 
uh, such a nice guy. He spent tons of time with me. He was really candid. He did not hold anything back. Um, and, and we talked about, we just, we talked, we joked about the fact that every time he opened his mouth about anything, the book just instantly shot up to be a $50 book right away. Didn't matter what it was. And it's still happening two years later. He's still doing it. Dr. Strange. Was it 43, 44? You had yeah. Mind Bomb. Yep. You had what were those Venom covers or Guardians of the Galaxy with the uh, first Clint, Planet Clintar. And yep. Cape, all that Cape brought Century back in the Doctor Strange run. Yep. True. Much respect. Yeah. yeah. Well, then he's, he's also mastered the art of, hey, something's going to happen. Dylan's going to be something. So you have to buy the next 27 issues to find out that he is going to become. And, oh, wait. You know what? It wasn't as impressive as. Oh no! It's going to be more impressive next time. <laughs> Pandemic didn't hurt, help anybody too, though. That we. No, that's true. The timeout we all got. Dylan Brock spec has slowed down some. Just a little. Just a little. <laughs> all right. Let, let, let's get back on track. All right. All right. All right. All right. You guys have some really good choices. Uh, this was from 2018. It's an independent it's an image book. Uh, Carl Kershaw cover. I. I don't know. It just it hit the right strings for me. I thought it was absolutely stunning. It's the oh, uh, I love that series. One. I, do, I like that series too. Um, I just think it's a beautiful, beautiful cover B. Um, oh. I don't know if it's the cover or the fantasy background. Um, I had to buy this book. I haven't read it. I'll be honest. Really? Uh, it's, it's good. Look I think. inside. It's just beautiful on the inside too. Yeah, it is just gorgeous. gorgeous. It's gorgeous. So I uh, I thought walking was perfect. So. Isola number one, the cover B, the Kershaw cover. Nice. Nice pull. I love that series. All right, Mike. All right. All right. I went with a weird one. I was I was going to go with this, but I couldn't tell if they were running or walking, so I didn't go with that. I don't know <laughs> if they're running or walking. So I, I, I so I nixed that That's one. Like a slow That's march. Like Armageddon. That's a mark. What's that? They're marching. They're yeah. marching. Okay, fair enough. Fair enough. They're marching. They could be floating too. They're in space. So, who knows? Uh, so I went with uh, a little bit something, a little something different. Uh, Archie's uh -huh. Madhouse Twenty Two with the walking nice. robot. Uh, first appearance of Sabrina. For those that aren't aware, um, not sure who did this cover. I'm I'm guessing it's DiCarlo, but I'm I'm not positive about that. I can look that up. Um, 1962 for Sabrina. Um, just a silly, just a silly cover. Didn't you guys read the sign? You're not supposed to feed the humans. I was just kind of <laughs> apropos for right now with all the crazy things going on. So that was my final pick. Oh, all right. Interesting. I would not have guessed that one. That's a, good, that's a good pick. I found one coverless in a box like a year ago. Oh, nice. Coverless, but, but still, yeah, that's a fifty dollar coverless yeah. book. Yeah, yeah I'll still buy coverless. Is she the is Sabrina the first splash page? She's lounged out on the bed with the white shirt. Yeah, on the first. That's great. So that's yeah, that's that cool. makes it even better. That's cool. All right, last pick. I also went outside the box of walking. I mean, nobody said it had to be like strictly the person walking. So I got a I got a walking horse here. <laughs> and I went. Ooh, that's the variant. Yeah, this is the variant. This is a uh, the Black Knight three. This is the Brad Street cover. I just, I just love this cover. It's just awesome. I mean, it doesn't really look much like real Black Knight. This just kind of looks like a knight, but uh, I dig it. So horse is walking. So this is a walking cover to me. Keep, beautiful. Brad beautiful Street's cover. one of those guys. Like I keep stopping and looking at his covers. Yeah, yeah. he does a lot of really good covers. Yep, he does. He has his. All logo. right. I'm going with last one pick. Of the, the classic homage covers. Oh. Akira 38. Nice choice. This is a gorgeous cover. This is actually, I mean, this is near mint, all white pages. Chris, uh, it's one of those like, I almost want to send it into the grade, but at the same time, it's just so pretty the way it is. I don't know. Uh, it's, yeah. yeah, it's a great, great cover. If you, I mean, shoot, Bitter Root covered it, uh, Extremity. I mean, how many different homage covers have you, how many different indie covers have been done to that one? Yeah, show, uh, show it again. I miss it. I used to have it. It's, yeah, it's just such a great. Oh, that is great. And it's so hard of this run. Like, it, this is the book to own. And then one, especially if you can find there's one first and second print, um, which different prices on it, which I have both of them. But 
this is the one to own. If it ever gets truly made into movie, I mean, Caprio keeps talking about it, or then the next uh, was we got to cover, we'll mention it whenever they want to drum up business. Yeah. And <laughs> so. Well, what was the name was attached? Uh, Taika Watiti, I think, was attached, but oh, I think it if he got... ever, but he's attached. He's attached like everything now. Yeah, I think right? the window kind of passed on that side. <laughs> it's probably not still in play. But... He's doing Mandalorian too, so he's oh, all yeah. over the place. But, good stuff. Yeah. All right, so guys, that was a good show again. Uh, Absolutely, I definitely I, I like the mix. Uh, this is, it was great actually to see people cancel each other out. If I had had that book, that would have been one of my books. Uh, I, I love it's worth it showing twice. Well. It's definitely worth showing twice. Beautiful enough to show oh, twice. That, that's yeah. it's a fantastic book. Yeah, yeah, it's classic. I think it's only happened. It happened with the Lost Twenty Three, and then it happened with uh, Batman. Peter, you and Mike pulled that. Yeah, up. I canceled right. Mike out with the. Yeah. So, but yeah, and yeah. I think I think I got canceled out for one of them too. Uh, I but, think I canceled you too. I yeah. was I was the canceller. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so it's nice, Peter. You don't have to cancel this stuff. Exactly. I was not involved, but again, I would have if I had it. Yeah. So, guys, thanks for the show. Uh, once again, we want to shout out to some of the sponsors and everything. Comic Barricade. Uh, if you haven't seen these things, these are beautiful for separate little hard plastic things that you put inside your box to keep them from being pinched from the corners being bent. Uh, they're great little things. Uh, if you want those, reach out comicbarricade.com. Uh, and it, as Come always, yep, yeah, check them out. They have little spikes on them that you the hold in the box so you don't. The same place. The they don't. They don't pop through. Yeah, they're and they're great. and they're made out of thicker stuff than. I mean, they're 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 serious. They're they're not chintzy at all. They're yeah. they're good. Absolutely not. And then also check out the Flipside channel, guys. Um, you get all the great shows. Uh, Flipside's every Monday night. It's live. It's a great show to catch. The Hot tens on Fridays. Uh, it's it's great. It's a little bit later at night, but you get to see uh, them talk through the hot ten. Ben Stein's hot ten, uh, and then also we got this great show. Hopefully you've caught it a few times uh, that B Peter and Mike are doing called a uh, theme hot ten. It's our theme, not hot ten, hot five. It's hot five list. Uh, random different stuff they'll cover each week. Hopefully you get to see the article right before, and then they'll talk about those five five issues. Uh, we got a lot of great stuff, guys. Uh, thanks again for watching. Uh, hopefully you'll check, tune in next week. Thank you.